how did they let you get away? <laughs> I've no idea. I've no idea. It, it, it was a real shock to me because I'd built my hopes up to go through. And I, in my heart, I was sure they'd press, but yeah. then with the audience reaction as well, it, it, it just takes you out of, out of yourself, basically, because you, um, you stood there and it's, it's just an awesome thing to experience, you know. Well, and no one can accuse you of underperforming. <laughs> I mean, that, and even I can see, with my limited knowledge, that was a hell of a performance. You presumably knew, you, I mean, you, you sing privately. Yeah. You, you must know that you did a good job, didn't you? Well, moments like that, uh, to, to anybody, you know, the, it's like a moment in time. You've got to grab the moment. And I, 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 when I was walking onto the stage, I was, I was very nervous. And I thought, I've got to put these nerves into positive. And I just fell into the song, and it, that was the performance that came out. What was the atmosphere in the studio like? The, 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 the judges, of course, have their backs to you. But was there a standing ovation? Were people on their feet? Were people singing along with you? What was it like? Well, the, as, as, as I started to sing, I was in the first line, or the second line of the song. There was a section that, um, that, that if I was looking at the chairs were there, I didn't look at the chairs. It was a section that was to the, the left of the chairs. It, they started to stand up and cheer. And you can hear that when, when I start. And it just went like a Mexican wave right the way around. And by the end of the, by the, end of the, the song, everybody was stood up standing ovation and I didn't look at the um, the chairs it was only when I looked at the at the end of the song I looked at the chairs and none of them turned around and I was like that oh. uh, uh, let's, let's hear now how those judges accounted for their behavior so did they talk to you I mean that, those are the comments kind of on camera they talked to you afterwards that has that work are you allowed to you don't have any contact you don't get a chance no. you don't get a chance to, to speak to the coaches because it, the, the whole Might process awkward, the, the, yeah the process of the show is very busy you know, and obviously filming and that. Um, it's a long day for the coaches, you know. Um, they're there for a, long, a good few hours, you know, whereas uh, contestants who don't get through are sent to uh, the room where my family is and that. And uh, the presenter, Emma Wheeler, she was there. And then after that process, um, you, you leave that, you know. So. Uh, we've got our own sort of little bit of mini voice we're going to do now. Have a look up on the screen. Let's have a look up here. <laughs> There's a chair there with a man sat in it. Shall we uh, turn the chair around, see who's in the chair? Oh. Look at that. Oh. Mike Batts. Very good morning, Mike Batts. Songwriter, composer, how are you? Good morning, everyone. I'm very well, thank you. When you watched The Voice on Saturday night, what did you think of Bob? Well, I was watching in the kitchen with my wife, and usually when the chairs don't turn around, you think, well, fair enough, you know. But he was so phenomenal. We just knew somebody would go for it. I, I was hoping it would be Will, so that it would be a, an interesting combination of, uh, of Will with this much more traditional-sounding Tom kind of voice. And nobody turned, and we, I, I just felt so, um, what's the word, such a sense of injustice that um, I... I thought, you know, I ought to do something, so... Um, what would you like, like to do, I'd Mike? I'd like to offer my services as a mentor. Uh, hold that thought well, for a moment. I'd like moment. to uh, Mike, offer my hold, services hold, as a... Hold the thought for a moment, Mike. I just want to say, because it was Bob sat here yeah, looking yeah. at the screen, you didn't know this was going to happen. No, no. not at all. That's Mike Batt, and, and he has a record of writing songs, producing songs for some of the biggest names well, in the I, business. I've heard of Mike Batt. It, it was big with the Wombles and that, you know, excuse, <laughs> excuse me, sir, Mike. Amongst I, other things. Yeah, oh, I know he's, he's a, a legend in, in the music industry, I know that, uh, just by the name. I've never actually seen Mr Bat's face, you know, so <laughs> that, it's, it's what's saying to me, so. Well, he's, Good morning, Mike, sir, how are you? Mike's got one or two things to say. Well, anything you want to tell us, Mike? Well, you know, as I say, I, 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 had, I felt so much, like I think the nation felt a sense of injustice, and I share that. And I'm, I've got to say, I've got the busiest year ahead of me. I can't tell you what I've got to do this week, this year. But I thought, I must do something about this. And so I, I thought I would um, at least put forward to you, Bob, that I'd, I would like to be the fifth person that did turn around, the first person who turned around out of five imaginary people, and say, look, you know, I, I can't definitely, it would be stupid for you to accept or for me to offer a definite recording contract with my label Dramatico Records uh, over the air on television, on live television, having never met, but 
I would love to mentor you, to, uh, if you like, manage you for six months or so until you get a deal with a good company or with my own company, whether I produce or write or, or whatever happens. I, but you must not let this chance go by, and I'd like to help you to sustain the, uh, the chance and not have it just drop uh, out oh. like, like it was going to. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> means, oh, that means so much. I think you've made a grown man cry, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, he made me cry almost. Uh, not quite, but he didn't cry me a river. But um, he is such a fantastic talent. He's, you know, even if I haven't got time to produce him myself, I say time, I've got to make the time or I find somebody great to do it because he must not lose this chance. Uh, Mike, thank you so much for your time this morning. Bob, uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's a good oh, that's moment, isn't it? It's a shock. Who needs those four judges there on the <laughs> voice? You've got Mike back to work with now. Keep us posted on what happens next, eh? I certainly will. <laughs> I certainly will. Uh, congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Bat. Thank you very, very much indeed. <laughs> Thank you. I, I We're not to able to do that every day, are we? That's a bit special. Thank that you. is a Thank lovely you, sir. moment. That's very kind. Lovely to see you, Bob. Mike, yes. thank you. The Voice continues this Saturday night on BBC One at 7. Let's see whose dreams we can make come true next week. Uh, tomorrow...